sourcing consistent quality. There is no consistency availability of quality through regular trade channels. You get a specific quality in the month of Jan, but you will not get that kind of a nut in the month of June or July. And that's a big problem that the industry faces with their vaccinity issues, with aging. Most of the work done is done in unhygienic storage conditions. If you're talking about FSSAI, if you're talking about microbiology and stuff, how if the ingredient is not proper, how it can affect your ice cream. That's a major challenge the ice cream industry is facing, the unhygienic storage conditions. But most of these supplies, if you go and see in trading, they are packed in unhygienic sweatshops which are contracted by suppliers. There is non-availability of customized trades. Like up till now, I mean, when we have been discussing, I have found a lot of customers who say, we were looking for, as an ice cream manufacturer, my job is making an ice cream, not making a 2 to 4 mm of an almond or a dicing a powder, making a powder of pistachio. But the industry has to do it right now because it's just not there. Most of the supplies are coming from traders and not from certified processing units. So it's not possible for a trader to arrange customized solutions. Exposure to rate fluctuations, everybody's been hit by the dollar this year and how the volatile world market situations are right now. So nuts and dried fruit are a commodity. They are subject to huge rate fluctuations affecting cost calculations of the You as a manufacturer have budgeted X for a pistachio ice cream that you are doing. You have put in, okay, this much will be the my budget for the pistachio. And suddenly a product which was 800 rupees a kg is now touching 1300 rupees. It affects your budget big time. Either you have to change your recipe. It's not possible for a large company to change your recipe midway or try doing something different midway. You have to follow. So you just take the hit. There is not adequate hedging mechanism that is available right now. And even when there is hedging, we found that suppliers, uh, when you get into long term contracts, uh, they compromise in quality because there is no sanitization. There is not a fixed specification in the industry. Everybody has a specification, but it's quite a broad specification. So people are able to tamper on that. One of the major factors which I'm coming back on the uh, dilemma of the industry that we don't find too many flavors. So you can say you don't make too many flavors because there's not uh, too much availability, standardized availability of the exotic range of nuts and dried food. Even when they have been available in the traditional market, they're so expensive that it's prohibitive to launch a new flavor. You can't plan a budget on launching at 2,000 rupees a kilo or 2,500 rupees a kilo immediately if you plan to really put it in your eyes. 